Hello, my name is Sasha Balbe. I'm founder from Schwitzen.com and suffer since birth from excessive sweating. Not only by the offers in the internet, most people know that sweating can be prevented safely by so-called antiperspirants. But how do these antiperspirants, which are outclassing the normal deodorant, operate? And on what it exactly depends with the choice of a suitable antiperspirant? The functional principle of an antiperspirant can be demonstrated with the help of an easy experiment set up in the best way. I have here a piece of tin foil as well as a clear plastic tube. The tube symbolizes in my demonstration the source canal of a sweat gland. Means exactly the way which every drop of sweat must take to reach the surface of the skin. Now, the antiperspirant arranges by a safe chemical reaction so that from mostly already loose skin components and the metal salt aluminium chloride, a unit will be made up which can invade into the source canal of a sweat gland. And now, Besides the just appealed union, the diameter of the source canal narrows at the same time and surrounds thus the pellet in his inside. This pellet becomes a stopper, remaining for several days, which prevents that the sweat can reach in larger quantities to the skin surface. The just described effect principle is the same with all antiperspirants and also most deodorants. Where is the difference between the several deodorants and antiperspirants? And how will a layman recognize if he has chosen a good product? This question can be easily answered. First, it depends on the proportion of the aluminum chloride in the antiperspirant. And due to this point, please forget about the most customary deodorants and unfortunately, also many antiperspirants. Always ask for the proportion of aluminum chloride of your antiperspirant. Compare it with others and don't agree to unclear formulations. While choosing a car, you also want to be informed about the HP, don't you? My second advice, always pay attention to a high compatibility. Remember, from skin and aluminum chloride will be built a stopper. The diameter on the canal will be reduced to a very small gateway. This is no wonder. It happens due to the already mentioned chemical reaction and exactly this you might feel in an unpleasant way. Therefore, pay attention to a sensitive working antiperspirant from highest quality and also a returned plant extract to allow a usage in line with demand. The result which is reached by a good antiperspirant overnight is amazing and quite safe for your health. The ones I cut in sweat stains will no longer be there. Now you can enjoy a comfortable and hygienic dryness. Since the narrowed and blocked lens can hardly execute the sweat at the places treated with an antiperspirant, the suppressed sweat spreads subsequently mostly on the remaining body, remains invisible therefore and looks not further annoying, especially practically and well for skin and pores. The presently dry feeling often remains for several days. Only if the source canal of the sweat gland widens again, the pellet out of skin and aluminum chlorine slowly resolves and is taken away bit by bit.